Holy Scripture conversations. Islam is false. Pray that these souls repent and believe the gospel. It is written in Revelation 22, 18. For I testify unto every man that hear the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. But then we see in 1680, about 514 years later, words are added until they become a book going by the name of the Quran, calling itself God's Word. But it's not. It's man's disobedience to the written Holy Scripture commandments of God. The Holy Scriptures given to Moses, the prophets, and the apostles by the Holy Spirit of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whose name is Jesus Christ, tells us in 1 Thessalonians 5.21, Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. But the truth of the gospel is going to prove to you this day by the very Islamic faith itself why it is false and what all souls that are deceived by the religion of this false moon god Allah must do so that their soul can be saved for eternal life in heaven. Muslims, read for yourself. Don't take no man's word for nothing. But you open up your Islamic book, the Quran, and read Surah 69, Ayah 4446, which reads, And if Muhammad had made up about us some false sayings, we would have seized him by the right hand, then we would have cut from him the aorta. Right there. Right there. The Quran is offering a challenge to verify if Muhammad is false or not. Now, let's go to the other Muslim writings of Islam and see if Muhammad passed the test of true sayings or false sayings. Muslim, read for yourself. Sayyid al-Bakari, book 59, head of 713, which says, narrated Aisha, the prophet in his element in which he died, used to say, oh, Aisha, I still feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Kaaba, and at this time, I feel as if my aorta is being cut from that point. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I went to the Detroit Public School so I can count my money, read my contracts, and write my will. The Quran says, if Muhammad made up some false saints, now, to be a false prophet, all you need to do is make up a false saying, and then you are false. Then the Quran gives the very condition, not run over by a camel, not struck by lightning, but cut from his order. Then a studious person goes and reads Sahih al-Bakari, book 59, 8 of 7, 13, and finds out that Muhammad told his wife the ailment that he was suffering from, which led to his very death, was his order being cut. Muslim, this is your own book. If Muhammad made up false sayings, his order would be cut. 
and then Muhammad died ah, from his order being cut. That means he made up false sayings. This means he is a false prophet. The holy scriptures of the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, who the creator of all things calls himself in Exodus 3, 6, says in Deuteronomy 18 and 20, but the prophet, which shall presume to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or that shall speak in the name of other gods, Allah, even that prophet shall die. There it is. Islam is false. And we know this because Muhammad made up false sayings. Here are some of the Muhammad false sayings. Surah 18, Ayat 86 reads, Until when he reached the setting of the sun, he found it set in a spring of murky water. Near it, he found a people. We said, O Zagarnan, thou hast authority, either to punish them or to treat them with kindness. Now a 10 year old knows that this is false. The sun does not set on earth in a murky spring of water. That's the false saying. That's why Muhammad's iota was cut. The Holy Scriptures of the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, whose name is Jesus Christ, tell us the circuit of the sun goes unto the ends of heaven, not earth. As it is written in Psalms 19.6, his going forth is from the end of the heaven, and his circuit unto the ends of it. And there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. Now that's only one false saying. And the Quran says false sayings, plural. So he must have made up more than one false saying for his order to be cut. Oh yeah, the Quran has more than one false saying. Surah 65, Ayah 12 reads, It is God! who created seven heavens and a similar number of earths. His command descends throughout them. So you should realize that he has power over all things and that his knowledge encompasses everything. There ain't seven earths. That's the false saying. That's why Muhammad's order was come. The Holy Scriptures of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whose name is Jesus Christ, tells us the heavens, plural, and the earth, singular, one. We're finished. One earth, not seven earths. In Genesis 2 and 1. Thus, the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the hosts of them. The holy scriptures of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whose name is Jesus Christ, says in 2 Corinthians 13 and 1, This is the third time I am coming to you. In the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. So that's two witnesses in the Quran itself, Muslim. That's your book that have four sayings. That's why Muhammad's order was cut. Repent and believe the gospel. Mark 115. Have you not read? Has not the Amman spoke to you? Did you not know that the very word gospel is in the Quran itself? Surah 5, Ayat 47 reads, And let the people of the gospel judge by what Allah has revealed therein. And whoever does not judge by what Allah has revealed, then it is those who are the defiantly disobedient. Well, what do you know about that? 
Muslims. Your own book tells you that if you don't judge by the gospel, then you are not submissive. But you are defiantly disobedient. And your own book tells folks what Allah will do to those who disobey him as it reads in Surah 4, Ayat 14. And whoever disobeys Allah and his messenger and transgresses his limits, he will put him into the fire to abide eternally therein and he will have a humiliating punishment. Therefore, to be obedient, judge your life by the gospel. And it is the gospel in Philippians 2, 9 through 11 that says, Wherefore God also have highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father the gospel that you are commanded to judge by Muslim to be obedient says in Mark 16 16 and 17 he that believes and is baptized shall be saved but he that believeth not shall be damned and these signs shall follow them that believe in my name shall they cast out devils they shall speak with new tongues it is the gospel hallelujah in acts 2 38 which commands then peter said unto them repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of jesus christ for the remission of sins and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Be obedient, Muslim. Your book, the Quran, in Surah 4, Ayat 3 reads, And if you fear that you will not deal justly with the orphan girls, then marry those that please you of other women. Two, or three, or four. But if you fear that you will not be just, then marry only one or those your right hand possesses. That is more suitable that you may not incline to injustice. Mm, mm, mm. Muslims, marrying more than one woman, you marrying up to four women. This makes you fornicators at the scriptures of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. From the gospel of God says in 1 Corinthians 7, 2, Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife, and let every woman her own husband. Fornication is a sin against your own body. That's the gospel which you are commanded to believe so that you ain't defiantly disobedient, Muslim, says in 1 Corinthians 6, 18, flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body, but he that committeth fornication sinneth against his own body. Fornicators ain't going to heaven. They cannot enter the kingdom of God. As the gospel scriptures say in 1 Corinthians 6, 9, Judge by this, know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. This defiles you, Muslim, as the gospel says in Matthew 15, 18 and 19. But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart, and they 
defile the man. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witnesses, blasphemies. Anything that defiles will not enter into the holy city in the new heaven on the new earth where those souls' names are written in the Lamb's book of life. In Revelation 21, 27 of the gospel. And there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination, or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. Muslim, I don't receive testimony from me. I say these things that ye might be saved. John 5, 34. Your own Muslim doctrine proves that your prophet is false, that your book got errors, and if you don't obey the gospel, then you are defiantly disobedient. The holy scriptures of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whose name is above every name, Jesus Christ, says in Ephesians 5, 6, let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these days cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Somebody got to tell you. Come out of that false teaching. Come out of that doctrine of devils and receive the Lord Jesus Christ. The devil is a liar. And the prophet Muhammad was lying as the gospel says in the Holy Scriptures in John 8, 44. Ye are of your father the devil and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is a liar and the father of it. Muslim, look at the gospel that you are commanded to judge by so that you are not divinely disobedient in the gospel says. In Revelation 21 and 8, but the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death. Muhammad ain't the last prophet. Muhammad, by the words of your own Muslim books, proved that he was a false prophet, lying. Jesus Christ is the first and the last, not Muhammad, as the gospel says in the Holy Scriptures in Revelation 22, 13, and 14. Am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. Come to Jesus Christ. Take Jesus Christ yoke upon you and learn of him because your eternal salvation depends on it as the gospel says in Hebrews 5 and 9 and being made perfect he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him Amen and amen.